Well, every kid's dream, I think, growing up would, would be the Melbourne Cup. At primary school, even com coming from a racing family, that um, you know everyone would sort of come to you for a tip or for some knowledge on the race or something. I have one superstition about the Melbourne Cup, and that's not to touch it until you win it. It's an old tradition, and uh, one I'm happy to abide by. One of the most important things is actually getting your horse relaxed once you get on it and then going down the, the roses to get onto the track because the crowd usually by that race um, pretty uh, forward and giving you a little bit of information or a little bit of advice on the way out into the track. So try and keep my horse as relaxed as possible going down to the start. Running through your mind how the race might be run and, and where you might be positioned and just probably just casting a, an eye over the field of the horses as well. Just Yeah, you just want to get a, a good jump and, and get into a good position from then and, and just get your horse to relax. Doremus the outside. In he goes and the field is locked away and ready. Racing in the Melbourne Cup. Vintage crop just a fraction slow to move. And Oliver's grabbed hold of Doremus dropping across the field early. From the start of the Melbourne Cup, probably my first thing is to get a good clean getaway, try and avoid any interference early, and then get my horse to relax, whether that be if he's a forward runner near the front, mid division or back, but just try and have a smoother transition as I can to the run down to the post the first time. De Jern as they came to the post the first time, then De Payne, Quick Ransom and Electronic, followed by third last as Doremus and then Count Jefferson, Vintage Croppers, last of all. Yeah, it's just unbridled emotion. Um, you know, as you say, something you've started out doing um, as a job from a very young age, um, you know, riding horses from a kid, um, and then, you know, to come to Melbourne, to get a ride in the Melbourne Cup, I'd finished second in the race the year before, so, um, and to win it the following year, um, it was just, uh, it was amazing. And, you know, all those um, memories come flooding back to you and just, uh, and it, it's a life-changing experience winning the Melbourne Cup. It's Doremus in front inside the 200 metre mark, led by a length to nothing like a Dane giving everything. Then quick ransom, coach with an vintage crop, but it's all Doremus at the 100, raced away three lengths to nothing like a Dane, and then came vintage crop, but Doremus takes the double. Doremus three and a half, nothing like a Dane runs second, vintage crop is third. Doremus has taken the Cup's double. Damien Oliver wins his first, and he's stormed away to win the Melbourne Cup.